Now, I've made an observation, and in this video, I want to talk about why it is that depression has become so common, why we are so depressed as a people, because the statistics are staggering. They are quite shocking. And depression is now found in young people, even very young people. Teenagers are now being diagnosed as depressed mental health issues and I've been doing a little bit of digging and I've been making some observations as well looking at what is happening in the world what's on the news and so forth I've made an observation and I've come up with reasons and these reasons are not so talked about they are not commonly discussed but from what I observed these reasons are the driving force as to why we are so depressed and I also want to address my Zimbabwean people I want to talk to Zimbabweans as I go through these reasons, I want to talk to Zimbabweans about something. But for now, let me give you the reasons why I think we've become so depressed. The first reason why we've become so depressed is because of negative content. What I've observed is that there are so many news outlets that are committed to producing negative content. They are committed to spinning out lies, conspiracy theories, sensationalizing everything. And as human beings, we are drawn to those type of things. I am drawn to those things because whenever I see a headline that is sensationalized, that is so negative, I have got no choice but to click on it. Because when I see that headline, it triggers a strong emotional response within me. It triggers emotions within me. It can be either anger, it can be surprised, shock, whatever it is, is triggered within me. And I've got no choice but to click on it. The reason we get addicted to negative content or negative news is because negativity or that constant barrage of negative news, negative content, negative stories stimulates the release of dopamine in the brain. And that chemical that is released will leave us wanting more. That is why we keep seeking out more negative news, more similar type of content. It's because we want another quick fix. That chemical that has been released in your body is now like a drug. And I've got no choice but to click on it and to find out what is going on. What happens after reading that article or watching a video, whatever happens after that is another matter. Because sometimes what I feel after reading the article or after watching the video is totally different from what I expected before watching or before reading. But because I saw that title, that negative title or that sensationalized title, I had to watch it, I had to read it. So it's because of negative content. We are addicted to negative content. And I'll come back to this when I talk about Zimbabweans in a minute. The second reason why we've become so depressed as a people is information overload. We've got information coming at us from all angles. And some of this information is quite distressing because I recently joined TikTok. And there are times when I wonder, how did I get here? How did I come across this video? Because I was watching this video, this type of video, but now I've ended up here. How did I end up here? If I don't check myself, I'll spend hours on there just consuming the information, negative, positive, shocking, whatever. And some of the news or some of the information is quite distressing. And if we're constantly being exposed to distressing news, it causes feelings of anxiety and despair, hopelessness, because you start to think that there is no hope. You start to believe that there is nothing good out there. But the world is wonderful. There are wonderful things that are happening out there in the world. But because we are constantly being bombarded with negative information, we start to believe that there is nothing positive out there. Because negativity seems to drown out positive things nowadays. And I see this as a content creator. When I post certain types of videos compared to certain type of videos, it's because, and that's another reason, we like sensationalized reporting. We like sensationalism. We like stories or we like news that is exaggerated. We like exaggeration. And I can even go as far as saying, and I've already said it anyway, we've become addicted to sensationalism. This is what I found. And because content creators now know that people are addicted to negativity, people are addicted to sensationalism, they play on that. But unfortunately, it is not doing us any favors. It is making us depressed because if you understand the algorithm, the moment you watch that negative video or the moment you read something negative, guess what? Google will keep serving you the same or similar type of content. The moment you watch that negative video, 
the next time you log in to youtube guess what youtube will show you a negative or a similar type of video and before you know it you've gone into a rabbit hole this happens to me a lot because there are times when i'm like okay i just want to watch one meta documentary and before i know it i've gone into a rabbit hole so this is what happens and that's why we start having these feelings of despair hopelessness just feeling sad and miserable it affects our outlook on life constantly being bombarded with negativity it affects our mood and if we don't get a handle on it that is how we end up getting depressed at first it will start as something innocuous you know you're just watching something that everyone is watching and then you get into that rabbit hole and then you start having these feelings of anxiety hopelessness despair just feeling sad like losing hope losing faith and if that keeps happening if you keep getting exposed to such things then you start to lose motivation also you become fearful and you become pessimistic about everything you start to lose hope life becomes dim because you're constantly being bombarded the last reason is lack of control if you're constantly being bombarded by negative content, negative news, seeing negative things happen, tragic events, global crises, people getting shot, war, rumors of war, whatever, you start to feel helpless because you're seeing all these awful things and you start to realize that actually you've got no control over this. These things keep happening over and over again. You keep seeing these things happening in the world. You keep seeing people dying of hunger and starvation. And then you start to feel helpless. You start to despair and you start to believe that you as a person, where you are, you are unable to make a positive impact. You are unable to effect any type of change because what you're constantly seeing seems bigger, way bigger than you. But what I want to say is, in as much as you can't change the whole world, no one can, you can do whatever you can where you are with what you have. The little that you have can be impactful, can make a huge impact. You can start making an impact to yourself make that impact to yourself first and foremost and when it comes to mental health you can make that impact by guarding guarding your mental health guard your mind guard your thoughts take control of the things that you consume you have control over that so focus on what you can control you can control your actions you can control what happens within your surroundings Within your family, you can control that. You can control what happens in your community because that is within your circle of influence. You can do that. And imagine if we all do what we can, whatever we are, if we all do our part, don't you think that that will make a huge impact? Don't you think that that will change things immensely? In as much as you feel that lack of control and it's valid, that feeling is valid. You have certain things that you can do that are within your control. Things that will impact the next generation long after you're gone. And now coming to my Zimbabwean people. Now, I have made an observation. I mean, I have been thinking about it for a while. And this is what I've observed. This is what I think is happening to us as Zimbabweans. I think we're now addicted to negativity. I don't really think that we're that much interested in positive things. Because whenever someone is trying to be positive about Zimbabwe or is trying to be positive about anything to do with Zimbabwe, anything linked to Zimbabwe, you get attacked. I mean, I've talked about this before, but it concerns me. It really concerns me as a Zimbabwean. And I'm beginning to wonder if we really mean what we say when we say we want good things to come out of our country. We want positive things. We want positive change. I'm beginning to wonder if that's what we really want because we are drawn to negativity. So yeah, this is why we are depressed. It's because of what we are consuming, the type of information, the type of content, the type of news we are consuming on a daily basis. We've now become addicts. We've now become addicted to tragic news, to sad news. So yeah, I don't know what you think about what I've said in this video. If you've got something to say, if you want to add something, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.